SEGA. But <laughs> okay, oh, hello everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with he is a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And let's put your helmet back on. Uh, yeah, 
it kind of er knocked things up with the starts here. I forgot to change the freaking title for one, so everyone... <clears throat> Uh, I did change it now, but I think with Twitch just sticks with whatever you said at first, so... Oh well, I guess this is Borderlands now, <laughs> weird ass update. But yeah, this is actually Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising, and yeah, since I was a lot... was available a lot earlier than usual, I thought why the hell not do an, er yeah, do an early start and do a long stream since we are getting close to the end of this game. Mm. Yeah. And you ended up getting the slight delayed anyway. Yeah. I uh, probably should have pushed back to, well, 10 minutes later than this, so I wouldn't have to rush and change things, well, last second even, and just mix things up again. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> last time, uh, yeah, we got rid of Alaphast. No, uh, Aragast. Yeah, we got rid uh, of Aragast. Though we still need to get rid of Alaphast. So, yes. let's load in, and let's see. We've got a few characters who are now max level at 30. And why did you get your stuff unequipped again? I have sorted most of everything by level. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, did it uh, donate design to receive an upgraded version? Let's actually do that right now. And that's... <laughs> Let's exchange it for a, for a blighted power armor that requires Corruption 7. Which, well, we don't have. Give it was a good armor. Uh, the only one who would still use normal armor, outside of the ones who can't use you know, Terminator armor, uh, would be Tarkus, and he already has this. And I don't think we're going to beat this anytime soon. So, yeah, let's see. Force Commander is now max level, so is Tarkus, as is Avatus, and the rest are still behind. Oh, weird. Let me give him a Custodius on for... Here's the thing about Custodius. Hmm? They're much bigger than Space Marines. Yeah, I think it's more said that it's made with a piece of it. Uh, the very presence... is believed to have been worn by one of the Emperor's guards. Uh, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's probably a false story then, or it has been reforged or something. And yeah, I've sorted out all of this stuff on level, only, well, except for this piece, and this piece I just took off of Thule. And yeah, this one is just playing better with 20 more armor. It doesn't have the damage boosts and such. Uh, but oh well, it's just a lot more armor and it makes the slow boy a bit more speedy. <laughs> what red gear? Mm. Yeah, a lot of stuff so that they, it can, they can't... Yeah, that means that they can't be used, unless you mean the corrupted stuff here, of which we oh, have okay, quite okay. a few. Oh, okay. there's a lot of things that create corruption, oh. Yeah. Um, let's see. Now, I know we are at the... I know we're at the edge of a determining point in the game. And... Okay, yeah, I don't think it's going to be... <laughs> I, th I think we're actually past the point. Uh, because the trader is about to be revealed. And... Well, there's a canonical trader and there's something... A lot of others. But uh, let's go see who it was then. The Wages of Sin. And yes, what you do can affect who is revealed to be the traitor. And you had said early on... Yeah. A thousand years ago, in this place, Moriah, mightiest of the Blood Ravens, battled the great old Kerr. With his dying breath, did Moriah stab at the heart of the Great One. What none could slay, he wounded. And so, noble Moriah died, with only his student, Gyrus, left to mourn him. Weakened, the Great One could not resist Gyrus. The hated student bound and shackled Ulkair. Now, that bond 
bondage ends. around the sector of the retribution. You must get Diomedes to put a leash on Angelos. I am not the only one who will be discovered if it comes to that. Do you understand me, Galen? Knowledge is power, as you are all so fond of saying. Martellus, you traitorous filth. Commander, Martellus is no longer aboard. Where is he? A drop pod has taken him to the planet's surface. We cannot allow him to escape. And uh, yeah, uh, like Wait, I was what? asking, <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that will. <laughs> okay, early on you had said that you had something spoiled about this game, and I. Okay, game could that be selected like for. <laughs> okay, what was it then that you Just had spoiled, demon. or is it. Uh, uh, okay, who care I, being uh, gone? <clears throat> I only knew there was a great, oh, a great unclean one, and uh, it was traitor ra blood ravens. But I had all of gotten who they I'm sure they didn't even mention who it was. <laughs> okay, the, the thing with that is is that well the trader gets revealed the moment we are here. And if all of the squads are well pure in the eyes of the Emperor, or 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 at absolute zero corruption in general, I'm not sure if it is if you need to be at complete zero or not. Or if it's just up to three points is enough to be still passed by it. Uh, yeah, if none of your characters meet those uh, meet those definitions, then Martellus is revealed to be the traitor. Otherwise, your character with the most corruption would be revealed as a traitor. And in case of everyone or multiple characters having the same amount of corruption, then it would be the one with the least amount in this stat. The will stats because well they're the weakest will of the two so yes all of these Yay. except for the force commander can be revealed as a traitor except for davian thule if the, the thing with thule is is that if your squad gets too corrupted i don't know what the uh, tr threshold is uh, he will just plain as leave oh so there's a lot of punishment meant on trying to go evil route here. Yeah. Though it does also, uh, also give a lot of powerful abilities because you get all of these. So you lose one powerful character, but you gain a lot of powerful abilities along the way. Along the way. Yeah, I was, I'm just going to need to rejoin the call here since I think you can see my icon is a bit stuck. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's still a bit weird. I'm gonna... Okay, one, two, three. There we go. Welcome back. Okay. You... Test one, two. Hello, hello. Is this a secret army? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, one more thing that I have heard about the corruption system that is, is that if you have a corrupted force commander, his mere presence will corrupt the others. So, yeah, that is something to keep in track. I don't know the specific of it, the specifics of it, but yeah, again, whoever is the most corrupted, and if they are 
characters with multiple with the same amount of corruption than is the one with the least amount of will points. In this case, that probably would have been Thaddeus from the looks of it. And each of them, well, each of them has their own little thing with if they are the traitor. And again, if none of them are, then Martellus becomes the, revealed as the traitor. But that is non-canon. I will, I will reveal who is the canon traitor after we're done here. But for now, yeah. we need to go hunt ourselves a traitor. So let's uh, restock a bit. Tarkus, you get back in. Avatus, you get in. Thaddeus on the bench. You're a very good <laughs> bench warm because we've used you the least, I think. Actually, it might have been Jonah. Yeah. Okay. A bit due to he was a bit told to micromanage. Don't see now where he would require less micromanaging. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I can actually throw that away. I'm pretty sure. Give you that as well. Hmm. And okay, I don't know if the game will can keep counting corruption here. But, as I said, uh, uh, corruption also plays a fact not... in the ending. So yeah, well, let's yeah. not tempt fate. Let's not tempt fate. Also, I figured out to... why... Uh, go ahead. I would say, it was a probably good for us to bring some tarantula turrets. <laughs> yeah. Also, I figured out what was up with this thing not preventing corruption. It's because it doesn't have the line offsets an additional two points of corruption when equipped. So yeah, these two can be worn along with corrupted equipment, like uh, say this one, which would immediately jump us to level four uh, to level one corruption here. But if we were to put these on, you can see that it pu gets pushed back. So these, they do give debuffs, but they would be would they would allow you to use corrupted equipment without suffering the consequences. Now then, um, let's see. Hmm. What to also put on? Actually, shall we shall we bring the freaking orbit bombardment on this? Uh, Where's well? Let's... For we probably will need it. Let's give you all of the weapons you need, and well, I think you can take a guess as to how the fight with Martellus is going to go, seeing as he is, well, a tech marine. Oh no. Uh, let's see. Oh no. <laughs> the traitor has gone oh wait, yeah, there. they, they don't have it. Martellus has retreated to a fortified Black Legion base on Argent Glacier. The area is dense with enemies, but we cannot allow that to stop us. Come what may, we must bring Martellus to account. His betrayal is unforgivable. Okay, what intel do we have on the enemy forces? Or enemy's forces? The Black Legion is present in large numbers. Beyond their main stronghold, they have at least two satellite camps. Patrols stock the area between these strong points, ready to pounce. There may well be other defenses which we cannot detect from orbit. A direct assault is possible, but that strategy gives up our only two advantages, surprise and discipline. Okay, what do you suggest? The traitor legions lack discipline. Their patrols are more interested in finding something to kill than actual reconnaissance. I doubt they have any established reporting rights or patrol rotation. If we engage and destroy the patrols quickly, their absence will go unnoticed. The same is true of the satellite camps. We can move from target to target, weakening the enemy, until we can strike at the main base and exact retribution. <laughs> yeah, retribution, also the name of the next expansion. And I think you can take a guess. <laughs> A little bit better than what I was, was feeling to realize it was not released yet, but it was only re released recently. Okay, what were you thinking then? Or fearing? Uh, this guitar is snipers on very, very long stilts. 
Okay, let's see. Bonus intelligence, patrols, and outpost will call for reinforcements if not destroyed quickly. The power of chaos has strengthened the, tra the traitor. Do not underestimate him. And yeah, several camps. And we're going to get some uh, armor out of this. As well as contemplation of the codex. Okay. I mean, talk is there something to say? Cyrus's strategy is sound, Commander. His analysis of the traitor legions aligns with the codex. Cyrus was not on Cronus, however. Eliphaz showed himself time and again to be supremely cunning. He knows well the weaknesses of his slaves. I cannot help but feel he will have taken steps to address them. Okay. Uh, one more thing, though. Um, okay, never mind. Everyone has their equipment. Avatus just I doesn't get you. any... Hmm? Uh, I think, I think that your we... character is missing. Yep. Yeah, but they can't equip those in the Terminator armor, which I find it rather annoying. Then oh, again, stacking, stacking the power of the armor along with some of the buffs that these gives would be probably a, a bit much, but still, it would have been nice to have at least one of these equipable. Like, obviously not helmet. the jump pack. Yeah, a helmet at the very least, or one of the banners. Not the jump pack, not the blasted jump get pack. Maybe you may, may turn that into a teleport pack instead, but oh well. Here we go. Chapter Master Azariah Kairos. Ancient and powerful, Kairos serves as the Chapter Master and Chief Librarian of the Blood Ravens. Kairos commands from the Omnia Arcanum, a massive battle barge holding the Chapter's most secret records and most powerful relics. Kairos' own history is among those closely guarded secrets. Kairos was, you know, was in Aurelia when the warp swallowed that planet a thousand years ago. He was thought lost until he reappeared centuries later aboard the Judgment of Carrion. Okay, how did he make the jump from that? Some call Kairos' survival a miracle or a testament to his greatness. Gabriel Angelos has long feared it was a sign of something more sinister. And he is proven wrong, it seems. Uh, proven right, it seems. Blue. Commander, Martellus has fled to the main Black Legion stronghold, indicated on the map. The two satellite bases are also marked. We should eliminate those to weaken the force defending the traitor. Keep a sharp eye for Black Legion patrols. Okay, here we go. Eliminate that patrol! Yep. Some armor. Yep. Okay, what did you lot destroy here? Night Stalker Squad is still hunting. They ignore summons. I suspect my brothers may be here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Avoid or eliminate chaos patrols. Specific. Yeah. Only optional. I don't know if they even come to reinforce the traitor or not. Okay, just focus these guys down as much as this planet is falling apart at our feet. Eastern outpost ahead. Strike swiftly lest they raise an alarm. Okay, and it's this area again from the very start of the game. Okay, we're not going down that choke hold. Or so choke point. Full circle. Yep. I, you'd call it bookends, but well, the story isn't at its end yet. Okay. Now over this way. Uh, yeah, let's for. Sweep their hunting area. This is no coincidence. Yeah, at least or at least Martellus is smart enough to know, uh, hey, some bullshit is going on here. Like you see it in so many games where if you take out patrols, that uh, they'll just ignore it no matter what. Nope. Get with these quickly. 
Okay. Now, let's take out this base of theirs. At the very least, we'll get some loot out of this. Oh, latest. <laughs> loot, loot. Destroy this foul den. There is no time to waste. Okay, Melta, Bomb, oh Avatus, just go <laughs> Okay, take everything out. Okay, that's going to be a nuisance. Thule, can you focus on that? Where are you lot going? Okay, just keep up the attack. And yeah, probably a good idea to get rid of all of these since these will keep spawning freaking demons and such. Marcus, hot potato that place, please. Yeah, they actually survived that. Okay. <laughs> they won't survive it for long. Or at least they won't survive a second. Okay, take that thing out. Tool, light it up. Darkest grenade for the extras. Yeah, I think at this point, I think at this point our characters are strong enough to basically ignore. Ravens attack Bastion Terminus. Ready all forces. They might strike anywhere. They have sounded an alarm. These heretics okay. are more disciplined than I expected. Eliphaz has them on a leash. Okay, seems that we weren't quick enough with that. Probably because we kind of were taking the long way, but that's a that's quite a choke point. That could have gotten us quite some pain if we went if we tried to go that way. Oh, deeper. Okay, not those two. Okay. That shouldn't do too much, though, I hope. Uh, okay, destroy the Chaos Outpost to eliminate reinforcements. Yeah, still good to do this then. So we can... No, well, it won't be a one-on-one. -on -one. At the very least, it will be a one-on... Uh, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> but still... They're going to get reinforcements anyways, so might as well lessen them. And it looks like whatever was going on with Avatus and that assault cannon, it, he seems to be firing on it a lot more now. So I guess something else must have been going on. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, how did your squad get so spread out? <laughs> okay. Uh, I forgot to bring the demo charges. Uh, well, we still have plenty of firepower to take these down. You forgot the bloody demo charges? Nope. I, was fo I brought these instead, or the Omnisai, which disables vehicles. Actually, does that work on these? I doubt. Nope. Okay, it was worth the shots. It remains annoying that the demons are their own classification, and there isn't really much that actively fights against them, except Jonah, maybe. Uh, yeah, you, you're not uh, playing as the Grey Knights. No. <laughs> hmm. Demon Kid, what would be fun to stream to? And so me how long it would take to screen that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Everyone can... uh, Demon Gate is basically the Diablo of uh, recent Warhammer, right? No! Hello. No! That, that, that's Mortar. That's Mortar. Okay. Demon Gate is the one that's more XCOM. Okay, uh, hmm. 
Mechanicus is also s like that, but in a different way, I'm presuming, then. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's just move over here. Deal with whatever we come across. But really, Grenadiers? Like, that's going to do anything against, well, a Dreadnought, two squads in Terminator armor. Hmm. And, yeah, we're, we're kind of forced to go through one of these bases anyways, it seems. Actually, is there a way to get across there? Because this is blocking this way. And, okay, so we are kind of forced to go through this base anyways. The Western outpost is near, Commander. We must deal with it quickly to prevent an alarm. Yeah. I'm presuming an, an invisible timer starts the moment that gets set or something. Yeah, once he gets to firing, he does deal a lot of damage, it seems. It's just that he, for some reason, keeps moving around. Mm. Okay. Put that melter to use. Strike quickly before they can report. Time is against us. Tarkus. Yeah, I think they're going to get off an alarm again. So, I, I wonder what counts as being part of the base. I'm going to presume it mostly means the buildings. Okay, we need to get rid of that, certainly. Oh, yeah. Okay, just melt the entire area, please. Okay. <laughs> Which he actually also does. Okay, but he is like... No, that's, that's why. Two missile launchers. Tarkus, keep moving forwards. Uh, let's see. Can you just heal faster than they can damage? Yes, you can. <laughs> okay, get to it then. Another enemy crushed. Okay. And either it doesn't count it since we've already since they already raised them line. Move to the next target. Okay, so we were quick enough on this one. Oh, Actually, I see some symbols are recognized on the ground. Let's see. Corn, nerd, beans. Oh, it's it's mm. hidden under one of the blast marks. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah, that's corns. Uh, that's Nurgles, I believe. And that that must be Zinches then. Yeah. Zinches is the one with the two circles and three arrows. Corns is the. Uh, what, how would you describe that? Yeah, that's the corns. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the X with a bit of a, 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 with an extra line or yeah. extra lines. As Lanus looks like a fireball, I guess. Hmm. Wouldn't that be Question closest mark? to that? Also, how tough is this blasted turret? Or not tough enough. <laughs> okay, everyone. Just realized. Slanesh rarely get uh, in the. Uh, not. They seem to rarely get in the spotlight in the Warhammer games. Mm, they are more about subversion and such, that then against Sinches as well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's typically. Maybe... Okay, here's where you get on the uh, area. Uh, uh, what? Uh, yeah, it's, it's typically Corn and Nurgle who are the more proactive of the four. I don't or at least have, the most I violent. I don't have theory about uh, what... Slanesh can be very aggressive as well. 
as they enjoy the bloodshed for different reasons to wear porn. Yeah, they get off on it. <laughs> yeah, and the reason I think, guessing that we don't see too many, like, there are exceptions, like, to the war, we do get to see the Slash forces. In other games, I'm gonna guess it might be too. Uh, um, house to uh, not safe for work. Yeah. Okay, keep pushing. That's one way to put uh, it. Not safe for work. <laughs> In the game, well, yeah, it, it's a bit of a. Uh, the hypocrisy in a lot of, uh, or at least in the American uh, rating system, that's it, it'll basically allow as much bloodshed as you can get away with. But the moment uh, even the slightest hint of oh, I, I, I forgot the I forgot the heel kit. So as soon as the slightest bit of sexuality comes into play, then all of a sudden it uh, gets rated R and blocked and whatever else. Hold on. In some cases, it's cleavage, even, that we had to uh, eat removed. However, there's more to hypocrisy there. They only do that. The least, most, the most pettiest thing, like if they see a character with a cleavage, already considered a... a, a shy friendly game, but it's obviously not. Hmm. Like... They uh, sense they, they had to switch out the one of the non Digimon because the one we had in Europe and the rest of the world had cleavage. It was not allowed in America. So they had to switch it out. But they only hmm. do this with games that are not from USA. Yeah, of course. Or so there has been many games made in USA that choose things that it's very bad in the rest of the world. But if the American does it, and it's okay. And one of the games, I forgot its name, but I heard it had the R word. It was not censored. Only because hmm. it was made in USA. And apparently, yeah. there are games like that. So I, I don't like American rating system at all. For it sounds so hypocrit hypocritical. Yeah, they, they've got a bunch, they've got a lot of uh, complaints about that. Also, I only just now noticed that these bars misalign with the HP of the commander. So I'm, I'm guessing this actually shows the, the health of one or multiple of the subordinates. Because mm -hmm. Tarkus has a lot more than 300 HP. Show yourself, That's turncoat. Possible. Your reckoning is at hand. I have longed for this day, loyalists. I will grind you to bloody pulp in tribute to the Dark Gods. Let the slaughter begin. Yeah, this is why he equipped everyone with anti-vehicle. Because he has a bloody tank. Yep. Yeah. That's not good. Save the gift of fire from the war. Look out! He's calling an artillery strike. Okay, he brings it out quick. Oh, no. And ah, uh, yeah, it is there. It's it is there the HP. Because I, I saw that bar empty. Okay, quickly drop that. Ooh, and <laughs> that's the commander down. Yeah, he can deal a lot of damage. Let's throw that at him, will you please? Just... Tool... Melt... That's Avidus down. Okay. Uh, where's Tarkus? There is Tarkus. Okay, shove another melt bomb of its tailpipe. Good. You should have died on Typhon, traitor. We knew as Martellus did die there. Tarkus is correct in a way. I was reborn on Typhon, where you abandoned me. Eliphas and his black faith found me, but not just him. Kairos too showed me the truth. 
He accepts the supreme power of chaos. And look where that power has brought you. <laughs> Savor your victory while you can. This whole sector will soon feed the Great Care. Yeah. <laughs> In a way, you can't really blame him since, well, uh, they thought him dead, but still, they didn't even go look for him. And, yeah, he, he was basically stuck in place for months, if his words about that are still to be believable. But, yeah. Oh, dear. It, only one stayed away. <laughs> Conscious. But we were speedy, at least. Let's see. Basic, basic. Blinding plasma gun. Uh, M35D Magna Cork Mastercraft Plasma Gun with Modified Chamber designed to enhance the disorientating light flash emitted on impact by its plasma bolts. Okay. Uh, reduce armor. Okay. Then we have Detonating f Heavy Flamer. Plus, okay, plus energy. Mastercrafted Flamer equipped with a secondary chemical reservoir that adds an explosive component to the Promethea mixture. Okay, so now you have explosive napalm. <laughs> and Gift of the Iron Traitor. Donate this item. Yeah, plus 50 armor to all nearby allies. No one can equip this, though, so you can only turn it in for something better. Although he claimed to have rebuilt his devices himself, the traitor Martellus actually received this servo arm from the Black Legion champion Alephus. Its origins are unclear, but it does bear the forged marks of the dreaded Iron Warriors. It should be sent for purification. And yeah, co another contemplation of the Codex for more experience. Let that be the last of treachery and corruption in the chapter. Unlikely. Martellus mentioned Chapter Master Kairos. I fear a heretic is in command of our entire chapter. Commander, another ship in orbit. It is the Litany of Fury, Captain Angelus's battle barge. And here's Angelos. <laughs> oh, uh, can we wait a little bit? I'm just gonna need to prepare some sandwiches. Okay, I'll go level the characters who have gotten something to level. Uh, let's see, detonation. If incapacitated, Thule will trigger a powerful radio, uh, radial detonation, damaging and knocking back nearby enemies. Um, we can't reach that. We could reach this. The Emperor's Might. Mighty Strike is charged with the hate. Stunned for a short duration. Not really worth it, I think. Hmm. Can we use... Yes, we could use bionic implants on a freaking dreadnought. <laughs> I don't think that would really work for him. But it would still up... <laughs> it would still finish his uh, stamina bar. And then we can put the last points into, well, his firepower, which ranged. Uh, Cyrus got a level... Sharing his mastery of camouflage. There and there. And yeah, I think I think I will actually just do this. <laughs> okay. Uh, there. And oh, that actually does not work on him. Okay, nice little detail. Okay. And I don't think anyone will have any new... Oh, we can put that on Cyrus, since it's a lot better than his current stuff. So that as well. And let's see. Oath of Penance, Fate of Galen. And we still have this thing. Let's see, Tarkus, Stormbolter, Assault Cannon. Or Lightning Claws for the Force Commander. Seeing as we're still just have basic of uh, basic pair of these, I think I will exchange them for that. Oh, and I forgot to read out the other, the rest of the stuff. Uh, let's see, Vigilis Arcanum, 
Knowledge is power, guarded well. This revered suit of Terminator armor served for centuries in the ranks of the Blood Raven's Honor Guard. Sent to the force of Artificer Jordanus, or Jordanus, it never returns. The Master Artifer, er, the Artificer refusing to trust the guard with such a prize. Okay. 200 health, 2 to stamina, 13 melee skill, and the typical suppression and knockback resistance, or immunity. This one is still, <laughs> the Blessed Cage is still stronger though. And how is it compared to yours? Uh, 2 to will, energy, uh, yeah. So this will go to Thaddeus probably. Yeah, definitely. Doesn't look any different, and he's probably not going to get fielded, so it's a bit of a waste, maybe. But yeah, uh, let's see. Avatus. Uh, is that better? It is slightly better. Okay. Hmm. And well, it doesn't have the melee damage for some. Okay. I, I think some of these might actually be a bit randomized. That might be. Also, for the record, uh, the icon for the for the stream literally set, is about the stream we had yesterday with Liz. Yeah, I I forgot to update it, but it I did edit it, but yeah, Twitch doesn't really pick up on that typically. <laughs> so yeah. And I'm back. <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah. Hello, jump scare by Rom. <laughs> you doing well? Yeah, I'm fine. Stomach hurts a bit, but it, but the pain lessens whenever I burp, so it's probably just gas. Probably then. Okay. I've had that problem for years now, so it's not like it's a big deal. It's just sort of annoying. <laughs> okay. Wait. Does that maybe need maybe to give you a pat on the back? Wait, no, uh, we should not do that. We don't mm. need to burp him like a baby. I was just realized that probably hurt his spine more. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, I'm presuming you had your headphones on there, uh, Rakir, and... Uh, I yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm a bit surprised, but also a bit impressed that they actually had the uh, foresight to not make you be... to not let you use that uh, bionic implants upgrades on Thule. Uh, <laughs> since, well, he doesn't really need them. Would rather have had them given give it back still though, but I guess that's what I get for trying to outsmart the game. <laughs> okay, and yeah, here we have the gift of the Iron Trader, which we can turn in, and instead we get the Blade of Steel. Let's see, ten percent chance to instantly destroy vehicles, plus fifty percent range damage reduction, and ten per energy re regeneration. That's quite a bit. Made from the fragments of Mortalis' server arm, this power sword has emerged cleansed by the heat of the forge and the rites of the tech priests. Okay. And yeah. I'm going to trade this one in with the, the force commander here so we can get some better lightning claws since basically everyone else has pretty good equipment. Or at least more decent than this, so let's see. Slightly less shit. <laughs> Uh, almost double damage, so I'll take that. Oh, wait, wait, <laughs> there's, more. there's more. Look at the other stats. Yeah. 20% movement speed, 110 health for all nearby allies. Okay. The Howling Griffins swear, uh, uh, gra <clears throat> swear grave oaths before entering combat, swearing victory on pain of death. These ancient claws bear one of these grave oaths in <clears throat> engraved across each gauntlet. Yeah, the Griffins' pride. Okay. I guess Howling Griffin is this another minor uh, chapter? Could be. Let's see. I think I'll keep the equipment as it is, since well, since we're facing chaos, we're facing a lot more heavy infantry. And yeah, bolters would be less effective against those. Anyways, what do you have to say, Angelos? Commander, we face a terrible situation. Chapter Master Kairos has gone mad, and Diomedes has branded my brothers and I as renegades. Tech Marine Mortella secretly served the powers of Chaos. He has paid the price for his betrayal, but we believe that Chapter Master serves Chaos as well. 
I feared as much. There will come a reckoning for Kairos. I swear it. Dire though the situation in the chapter may be, the threat to the Sector is worse. Kairos bound a mighty demon inside planet Aurelia a thousand years ago. Eliphas is intent on releasing it and destroying the planet in the process. Without the Blood Ravens to defend the Sector, all our recruiting worlds will fall. Good. The Chapter Sorry. Master may have branded us mm. renegades, but we still stand with our worlds. We must mount an assault and eliminate the foul monstrosity here and now. I'm transferring details to your planetary display. Angelos out. Well, I think we're a bit late on the planetary destruction part. <laughs> okay, foul play oh, in the chapter keep. This oh, is not... this is the last mission if I remember if things are correct. That's a lovely mugshot. <laughs> yeah, well, I with, with great unclean ones. Would any mugshot be any better? <laughs> uh, no amount of filters could work uh, could hide that. I was gonna say it depends on the chaos lord, I guess. Yeah, the great unclean ones are Nurgle specific, so <laughs> yeah. So yeah, like I said, depends on the chaos lord. Yeah. Let's see. Chapter Keep Selenon. The ruins of Selenon have suffered under the effects of the warp. This massive blood raven's keep bears terrible scars from the torments within the planet. Commander, the demon Ulker is manifesting in the ruins of Keep Selenon. This was once the grandest of our chapter keeps. Now, the Black Legion infests its ruins. Eliphaz's forces are well entrenched and prepared to repel any surgical strike. Nevertheless, we must, we will prevail. Okay. How will we crack the Black yeah. Legion defenses? Hmm? No, 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 it's, it's a, it's Predator a thing. Predator tanks from the Litany of Fury will drive into the enemy's defensive line. Their mission is to destroy key Black Legion installations. Once the Predators eliminate their targets, my forces will launch an all-out assault on the Chapter Keep. With the Black Legion repelling our assault, you can drop into the keep itself and strike at the demon. Okay, can we coordinate the predators' activities? We can supervise their attack in order to better prepare for our strike. One predator will deploy in the annihilator pattern, perfect for dealing with enemy armor. The other will use the destructor pattern, better suited for dealing with heavy infantry. <laughs> okay, now let me double check and actually put. Uh this back over here and with the force commander since well <laughs> we kind of need that uh, you can drop this off and let's see ta -ta -ta. Yeah, these these special ammos that targets can use they only work with a tr with a bolter so i don't think we'll actually Actually, I, vengeance rounds. L let's actually try that. Let's see if we have a bolter with better damage than what we have now. Uh, let's see, 50. Uh, only level 13. Uh, okay, it's the blighted bolter, which is reduced range. But since well, since he tra yeah, since he plays grenadier most of the time, that's actually good for him. Let's put these vengeance rounds on there. It'll still be. Hmm. What happens if you shoot blessed rounds through a cursed gun? Uh, probably nothing good. <laughs> and why did that unequip all of these things? I feel like that's one of those things that's like divide by zero. <laughs> probably. <laughs> okay, I'll just keep him with the melter since the bolter actually won't do that well against heavy armor. Uh, Avatus. Yeah, 100% against heavy, and well, Thule is bloody Thule. And since this is the last minute, let's actually use some of these extras. Uh, let's see, substantially. Yep, that's reduce corruption. Uh, yeah, let's get you to maximum level. Get you maxed out on that and a bit on that. And that is a fully leveled squad. Or four fully leveled squads. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'll leave this out. Actually, we can. 
That's a bloody pod gun! <laughs> that looks, it's... Honestly, with this... With the, honestly, with the sort of style, I swear to God, I've seen a ghost in StarCraft wield that. <laughs> Probably. Probably <laughs> how proportions are there. Remember how big these guys are! Oh, uh, shit. Oh, yeah, did... Let's actually do this, there, unlock the dark secrets of the... F uh, okay, and then we immediately follow that up with this. Wait. Yeah, wasn't that supposed to reduce eight? Okay. Huh. That's odd. Hmm. What did you do? I used the, the, uh, the Galen... Uh, thing they are binding of Galen which gave five corruption on everyone and then I use the uh, dependence thing which should have reduced corruption by eight on everyone but instead it only did four apparently so that was weird hmm did you uh, just destroy our way to good ending yeah there's still a hmm, I don't know the, it will still be a good ending at this rate. Like, the only bad ending is if you get your entire squad, uh, entire team fully corrupted. But I guess we don't get the fully pure <laughs> ending then, or at least the closest to it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Binding of Galen. I, Apostolary Kairos of the Blood Ravens, do bind the demon Cancarius into the body of my brother Galen. In so doing, I damn my brother's soul and give it unto Ulker, who is master of Cancarius. I do so freely as my part in a bargain with that self-same archfiend. Through him shall we gain release from the confines of this derelict, that all who gaze upon this text know the power of the great unclean one Ulker. Okay, so all we really got out of that was the fact that Galen was possessed. Uh, and yeah, we already knew he was possessed, only now we got a name and we would have known it early about that. So, I, <laughs> not really worth it, I'd say. Okay. And yeah, we get to play with some predators of our own here. It's, uh, you are about to guide two mighty pre <clears throat> predator tanks into the teeth of the Black Legion. With them, you must break the enemy lines and open the way for a full assault. Use the Predator Annihilator and its twin link laser cannons to eliminate enemy vehicles. Use the Predator Destructor and its autocannon to blast apart knots of infantry. Both tanks can also overcharge their engines to crush and knock back infantry or deploy smoke grenades to reduce incoming fire. If one of the Predators is rendered inoperative, a Tech Marine will deploy in a Razorback tank, guide him to the damaged tank, and he will be up, make the, he will get it operational again. Finally, remember that vehicles have weaker rear armor, so guard your flanks. The Predator Annihilator and Predator Destructor are deployed and ready to begin their attack. Key targets are indicated on the tactical map. The Emperor guides you to victory, Blood Ravens. <laughs> Yeah, the place is still falling apart. Okay. Now, let's see. I think it is better if we go this way. Like, it may look like a much clo much easier path that way, but... care is going to be here, so this is actually going to be a better place to start from. Oh, mm. Let's see, can they fit oh. through that? I always suspect that uh, Rome wants one of these uh, to drive him around uh, to work. I mean, to be fair, one of my... When the world ends bucket list is to steal a tank. <laughs> well, what is to uh, steal all these tanks? <laughs> Another one was to interrupt the wedding by... Well, it wasn't for, like, the end of the world, which is me being an ass and being young and just, like... A wedding's happening, and I just sneak in, and they go, Whoever is opposed to this union, may they speak now or forever hold your peace. And I just go inside and say, get up and say, I have something to say, and then just run out. Yes, I am willing to be a wedding crasher because I thought it was funny. 
Uh, what better way? And what better reason? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, controlling these the, things is a bit annoying. How do you do who got with a little angry with you? <laughs> Okay, since these things don't re you can't since you can't fully control how these things turn, they will often just show their ass to the enemy for no goddamn reason. Okay. Luckily, we can tell them to repair themselves. Okay. I'll read my laser. Okay. <laughs> you, you oh. hit that thing quickly. There we go. Okay. Let's continue down this way. Let's try and keep an eye on the health of these things. Actually, just repair right now, both of you. Are only you, I guess. So, yeah, these things are powerful, but it, they are rather awkward to control. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. Mm, yeah, I suspect that this on the highest difficulties would be really freaking hard since how, well, how clunky these things control up. Hello there. Yeah. How did, how did we hit the rear arm right if we were firing on it from the front? Okay. That's you, focus that. You... Focus them. Uh oh. Predator under attack. It's actually us. There we go. All they did was crash the paints. There we go. That rapid fire seems to start pretty late. Hmm. Okay, moving on. Luckily, we don't have to stick with these two for too long. Deal with that. Okay, the back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, it takes a moment for them to use their specials. Okay. You focus that one down. You. Okay, good thing that I employed the smoke there. Okay, you go for a joyride, disrupt their ranks. Excellent. Destroy all enemy fortifications. There we go. Even if this thing might not be as effective against them, it can still be an utter pain in the ass to them. Okay. <laughs> Now, destroy this thing you, to turn your turret all the way around. Well done. Strike Force Fury, launch attack. And we lose control. Forward. Today we regain the honor of our chapter. Uh, yeah, now a full-on assault.
Er, uh, oh. Okay, we still get, I thought we... I thought this is where we would... Can, no, there we go. To support Captain Angelos. Oh, oh, we... The Black Legion defenders, we can stem the tide of Blood Raven deaths. Blood Ravens! Lord Elevas was right! The Loyalists are trying to outflank us! Okay, I thought we would lose control of them, but no, we keep the tanks. <laughs> okay. And yeah, there is no chance for further corruption, it seems, but we can redeem it with a bit uh, by, well, reducing the damage. Thing. Okay. Okay. The demon feeds on our brother's lives. Your chapter master imprisoned me. Go. You guys have fun. Deploy your strike team and destroy that demon. Later. Everything depends on it. Where did the med? Did I forget to equip the med kit on him again? Come on. Okay, pull back. And yeah, now we lose control of those. And yeah, the, the blood ravens will keep spawning, I believe. Minimize probably losses. Fourteen or seventy-five. Yep. Okay, so while they are busy, we need to we need to first get rid of that thing. We need to go fight and defeat Ulcare. And yeah, that is definitely the health of one of his aides. His, his subordinates. Now, wait, where are you, Avatus? So right in the middle of it. Okay. <laughs> we won't have any use out of that, but at least we can pick it up for later, maybe. No, there is no later. <laughs> okay, get rid of that tank. No, heal. Yeah, I thought I'd put the med kit back on the force commander, but apparently not. Okay, no. Let's cover Thule, and then we move on the care. Okay. There we go. So yeah, we, if we don't have a set time limit of sorts, but we do have a soft one. Mm -hmm. Where's Tarkas' equipment? Did, did we lose all of our equipment somehow? I'm, I'm pretty sure I had multiple things equipped on him. So where the hell did it go? Wait, is this a bug from... You stay with the tanks first, then to put it in later? I guess. Like, I'm... I'll have to check back the footage, but I'm pretty sure that I had at least Tarkus equipped. Okay, capture this point. 
And yeah, if I remember correctly, if this... If you draw closer to your doom, Blood Ravens. Surrender to the inevitable. Share in our glory. Enemy is... Guessing some sort of glitch was. Uh, uh, I'll have to double check things, but something just does not feel right about this fully. Okay. Can you two take care of these quickly? Okay. Gotta keep an eye on Tarkus. Other than that, just, well, beating down on him. And as I was going to say, you'll notice that Ulcair is at half health now. If this maxes out, that puts him to full health, I think. I was beating that. And also, you realized, what if when you'd use that corrupted item, if that somehow it only could several people as well? No, but. Abacus still has his stuff. Just... Yeah, okay. I must have missed something. Hmm. Okay. So, I guess we now... No, no, no. Okay, now we know that when they are down to themselves, the health bar shows their own health, I'm presuming. Or does... Do... Do the uh, subordinates count as sections of uh, their health bar or something? Sure. Hmm. No. Uh, yeah, that... Tarkus took a big hit there, even though this shows a 1. So I'm guessing this shows the lowest health of their subordinates at the moment. jumped out of the way of that one and okay it looks like yeah it, it is slowly going up i think go oh, get out of the way there no okay pull back you two keep on the fights so yeah i must have met i must have messed something up I would unequip all of Tarkus' stuff, though. And it, it did. It didn't unequip everything when when he had the uh, special ammo equipped, and we put the melter on him. But uh, God damn it! Hmm. Yeah, it, I don't think we'll need to restart, but. Yeah, you're, you're freaking die already, you fr Okay. Tarkus, pull back for a moment. You heal through. Okay. So, the repair. Still fight even though he's self-repairing. Okay. Yep. 
Oh, mo the motherfucker keeps healing himself. That's what's going on. Okay. Oh, no, that's not okay. That's unnecessary. Uh, he, he, is, he is buying time. That's what's going on here. He is buying time for more blood ravens to die and more health for Ulkar to, well, be, <laughs> appear, become, get at it. Still unsure about the equipment, though. Hmm. Actually, call down some artillery on that, please. Hmm. Yep. Right. There. It's trying to zinch. Okay, what's... Uh, Okay, I didn't need to pull back Avatars, but he would have gone. Ugh, damn it. Come on. Okay, Avatars, go back in there. <laughs> you pick up Tarkus, he got unlucky there. Okay. Now, Tarkus, you stay back. So uh, yeah, he is he is he he literally is just stalling for time. Hmm. So technically we should just run past him to go for Ulkar. But we we've been on this for a bit now, so I think we might as well finish it and Okay. <laughs> 0 0.3 million HP. No, not million. Well, you added one seer too many. Yeah. Let, let's see. One, two, three. Yeah, he he is a, he has a third, about a third of an a, a million HP. How are you went that way? Yeah. Okay, just keep that up. Okay, there we go. Now we're starting to melt through that. Speaking of melt... Oh. Okay. Oh, he's doing quite well over here. I think he might actually wipe all of this... I think he might actually wipe out all of the Chaos Forces there. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, I guess we could have. I, I guess we could have kept fighting with them to get rid of all, or at least most of the chaos forces, to ensure that this did not get filled. Yeah, like I said, he was just stalling. Say we could aid them to prevent more deaths. Yeah, but that would have thought, that would have drawn things out yet more here. Uh, wait, uh, here is how we get across. The only opening yeah. that he oh. wait. Oh, I. Okay, now I know that b there was that red bubble here. We wouldn't be able to pass even if we wanted to. I think. Uh. Okay. Let's capture one of these points and try and deal with Ulkar as quickly as we can. Now, I keep switching to Tarkus, wanting to grenade everything, but he doesn't have his bloody grenades. <laughs> Surprise from above. Uh, 
have it. Give them some missiles as well, will you? Hello. Yep. Okay, I thought Sul would have dealt with this one, but no. Uh, where are the heck? Uh, how, how did you end up back there? I'm pretty sure I didn't tell you to uh, retreat. And why the hell were you underground here? <laughs> okay, get some distance. Let's uh, <laughs> like just whack and walk. Yeah. <clears throat> Whatever. I've forgotten the words. Okay. Tarkus, focus that one. Uh, no, Avatus, not Tarkus. Uh, Tarkus, you go capture that. Okay. Uh, actually, you go capture since you're right next to it. Everyone else, uh, just wait for a refill for a moment. Zul, you go ahead. Just push me on missing grenades the other delays too heavily. Yeah. Oh, so, bloody, look at the losses. Yeah, they're getting close. Okay. There goes another one. Okay. We best get yeah, we best hurry the hell up with this then. A few more deaths. And I shall be free to consume the whole. Sector. Your deaths will do nicely. Ah, such a beast of souls. I shall tear apart all your worlds. Oh, everyone got teleported over. Okay. Both well, time to do. Uh, really? We lost nine. <laughs> we lost nine more in that little cutscene. Yeah, that's not, we're not going to make that. Oh, uh, uh, hello. Uh, Gerberber90, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the show. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Wait, how did Zul get down so quickly? Uh, oh, it's because these are bombarding us, it seems. Apparently, or maybe, uh, gotta pull back though. <laughs> if if Avatar goes down now, we lose the mission and need to restart. On the one hand, that would allow me to equip everyone again, which, again, I don't get why their gear is just gone, but oh well. And we still did a good amount of damage to Ulcare, though, it seems. Yeah, but I feel like we, we would have been able to do this if not for a few oddities and mistakes. Yeah, again, I still don't know if I, if I just missed it or it somehow got unequipped in a glitch, but let's, uh, let's see, Durgerber. Uh, let's see. Uh, I do, thanks. Love that game, but could never afford to play it, so now I'm watching. Okay. Uh, I have recordings of all our previous streams of this game and the base game stored on YouTube, if you would want to see those. Uh, wait, how, how are we already... Uh, okay, yeah, that thing has a big-ass cannon, that's why. Uh, I, I think... <laughs> I... Well, that's our first defeat. Okay. Huh. The enemy has won this day. Great is our shame. Uh, well, let's see how... I think it just resets us, I'm presuming. Uh, because otherwise that would be a hard game over for the game. Uh, yeah, it just resets us. Uh, okay, let's investigate uh, the characters here now. Okay, yeah, something definitely happened here to unequip them of their stuff. That This also explains why they went down so easily. Uh, wait, where the heck is the Blessed Cage? Uh, there it is. There. Uh, somehow it all got unequipped for some reason. 
Um, <laughs> this there... must be a bug. Definitely, yeah. There. And also there. Okay, Tarkus. Uh, now we have nuke. No, no, we have some corruption still. Uh, yeah, a little bit. I, I get... Again, it said that it was supposed to cure eight corruption, which should have removed all the f all five from Galen, but uh, from Did the Galen item, but still, maybe. Uh, okay, you have your Melta. Where is your armor? Not that one. Not that one. Yeah, golden armor. Yeah, something must have something must have <laughs> crossed wires to unequip all of that. Um. Nope. Hmm. Okay. I wonder how few uh, characters he did that to as well. Like, he didn't do it to all of them. Only a few. Yeah, maybe because. Okay, I think I may know what what may have happened, because the tanks took up the spots one and two. It overrode their positions and somehow unequipped them. That's my best guess. Hmm. Let's let's try this again, and hopefully it doesn't happen again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping for us to be able to finish it uh, at this moment, so we can start on the other one. Yeah. Uh, but as I was saying before, uh, before well, before Avid has got his face smashed in. Uh, if you want to see the rest of the game that we've already streamed, Durgerber, uh, I have uh, I have uploaded the vods of the previous streams up on YouTube. Uh, let me give you a link for that quickly over here. Uh, you tube. That yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, I probably should remi remove the last bit since I have been keeping up with uploading, but that should lead to uh, the to the channel, which I have renamed now to Captain Hillian as well because it, I, I had left it as Hillian for the longest time. And the predator annihilator and predator uh, can we skip this? And ready to begin their attack. Key no, we can't. Are indicated on the tactical map. The Emperor guide you to victory, Blood Ravens. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't get glitched again. But we'll see. Go ahead. Okay, actually can I rename these things to five? Yep. And Go six. Ahead. Oh, maybe this will prevent that from happening again. <laughs> and hello, Pyro Sue. You doing well today? And we're 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 hello, gonna yeah, <laughs> We're finishing up uh, Dawn of War 2 Chaos Rising today. With luck, and if the game doesn't glitch again. Destination okay. Okay, that, that empowered shot wasn't needed. It was already almost dead. But yeah, how are you doing, to Pyro? Marines. Uh, do you mean with the the tabletop game, or do you mean? It... <clears throat> Chaos havocs are set up ahead of you. Yeah. Their last cannons and missile launchers pose a serious threat. Use your auto cannon to eliminate them before they can cause serious damage. Okay, that 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 started a lot earlier this time, huh? Uh, but yeah, yeah. Uh, Durger, do you mean the tabletop uh, war game or retribution with that? Because with Retribution, I plan to play through the game as both the Orcs and the Space Marines. Uh, orcs first, yeah. because Rakir over there wanted me to do them first. Yeah, so it's, it, it would be nice for the shades of pace. Oh, it's a scenery. Yeah. A bit more green than all the uh, brown reddish, red brownish. Brown? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not entirely sure how to describe this color. Oh, it, it, it's a type of white. That is what we said, kind of white. Like, uh, what's it blue white? Not, uh, uh, not that. The, all of this. It's the red. orange, red. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oop. 
quickly deal with that. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, with Retribution we'll be playing both through the game as the Orcs and Space Marines in that order. <clears throat> but I don't play I don't play the tabletop game for the uh, of Dawn of War. I probably would like it, but I <laughs> I don't have the funds to uh, actually well get started and such. <laughs> you were told if you were good at painting miniature even. No, uh, I, I doubt I have a steady enough hands to do that. So I, I don't I don't uh, I don't think I would be able to make good painting on that. Certainly not to the level that a lot of people online has have made. Yeah, I guess it when it comes to Warhammer 40k, they are a bit easier to start painting compared to fantasy. Mm. But uh, yeah, detail work will take uh, a lot of time to learn. Okay, you go repair for a bit. Hmm. Actually, can I just push through and blow up? Oh. Turn, turn around, you idiots! Stop showing your ass to the enemy. Yeah, just punch a hole in that, please. Yep, I don't know what's going on, buddy. Destroyed. Well done. Strike Force Fury, launch attack. Okay, that well, was all we needed to do. As I say, you should say this to the pyro then. Uh, we all want a final mission. Forward. Yeah. Today we regain the honor of our chapter. Okay, so hopefully it doesn't glitch again. Hmm. Actually, technically we could have just run the... We could have just run the Annihilators through straight to that temple and blown it up. We should divert to support Captain Andrews. By eliminating the Black Legion defenders, we can stem the tide of Blood Raven deaths. Yes, yeah, okay, they we have a gear. And he's also, okay, let's do that. Let's help them this time. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know if the Chaos Marines will keep spawning at the edge of the map, but at the very least, we should just push things through and destroy as much as we can. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I think we lose control here already. We are too late. No, the demon is manifest, but not yet free. He cannot yet leave the keep. I think we lose control of these two as soon as we've dealt with the base. Fifteen. Yep. It's these predators. Feeds on our brothers' lives. The, the predators are dealing that much damage. Great. Oh, hello. Greater gene seed renewal. Tarkus got uh, a face full of a uh, tank shell, I'm guessing. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, we'll yeah, wait for okay. a moment. Yeah, let's destroy that damn thing. Then we... Yes, we try to go for the... But he, he's telling us to go and do that. Yeah. 
Okay, I I'm guessing it's mostly these assault marines that are dying, since we've seen that they are a lot more fragile than others. Tarkus, go capture that quick. So, we'll focus fire on that thing. Uh, actually, focus on that. Actually, just wipe them both out. Yeah, we captured this. You should eliminate those damn things. Tarkus himself has healed up. Oh, okay, so the, oh, the subordinates are, to a degree, part of his health bar, because he stopped regenerating health once this one was full. Okay, so they, they do represent the sort of health bar sections that can break away. Okay, I, I didn't know that before. Okay. Zool. Yeah, l let's try and clean up as much of the yeah, yeah, as much of the map as we can at first. Yeah, yeah we are getting this some of these structures. Yeah, it would at least lessen the flow of enemies. But we are getting in each other's way here. Let's see, they're going that way. Let's go this way. Is this a dead end? On the map, this looks solid, but it's... Okay, there must be something blocking the way then. Oh, oh. Okay, the motherfuckers are going to keep spawning anyways, it seems. Uh, okay then, let's destroy the tank and get back to killing demons. Yep, and again, Targus just goes down real quick due to these tanks. So we'll focus fire. You pick Targus back up again. Back. Tarkus, pull back. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we have to go and fight him again, so we can't really help him. Yeah, let's just push that way. Maybe we can run past him, but I think he is just going. Yeah. What if they do keep spawning here? Yeah, hence why I'm suggesting for us to continue onwards for. I guess somebody, Jonah, told us to, uh, <laughs> okay, that that segment. Okay. Tarkus, move on. Hmm. Now, Angelos does tell us to split off and go after Ukair. Indeed. Hmm. Still rather bullshit that they just keep spawning. And let's capture Such determination could accomplish a great deal if backed by the powers of the dark gods. Shut up, Elephus. It is your stubborn nature only ensures your destruction. Okay, let's spread out over this area some. Draw closer to your doom, Blood Ravens. Surrender to the inevitable. Share in our glory. It was left to me to manipulate Captain Angelus into launching this attack. Aragast never understood the true grandeur of his plan, but you, you have played your hearts very well, Blood Ravens. Destroy that. Uh, destroy that. I think these are enhancing him or shielding him to a degree. I specifically told you to, fi to focus on that. So do so. Hey, <sighs> Abatus. Do your freaking work. Yeah. <laughs> he really oh, just wants to go for the... 
Alephus instead. Alephus forced them into melee. Okay, could be that as well, yeah? Yeah, as Creamy tried to attack a goose, it tried to interrupt them in melee. Okay. Get that, it's oh, so cool. But basically, Alephus AI is small, it knows he needs to protect its powers. Yeah. Oh, so can we just go through this? Oh no. no, it just it slows us immensely to go into that. Okay, so it would probably be possible to go through it, but you would we it would you would Elephus and that tank would be able to shoot you as much as they'd like along the way. Okay, grenades. Can you go through that? No, it is, it is physically blocked. So we, it's not an optional to destroy Elephus unless you have, unless you only have uh, characters that can jump. Okay, guys, destroy the their powers. At the absolute least, it should stop demons from spawning. Avidus, get out of melee. Yeah. Okay. Parkers, pull back. You're out of meat shields. And yes, trying to zinch. Okay. okay. Commander is getting rid of it. Tarkus is, well, in melee where he shouldn't be. Okay. The is trying to read what target melee on the unit is not meant for melee. Yeah. Does that make sense? And I didn't fully see that, but it did look like that grenade did a good amount of damage on him. Most of he has remaining. Yeah, uh, he's he's going to resurrect again. I'm pretty sure. Oh, never mind. But why you we prevented me? it. How it destroyed his towers. As we can become victory. Okay, we still have about 40 ravens that we can lose before we well, lose the redemption opportunity. Yeah, I feel like we, we saved our lives because this time we prevented him from being hit from one of the towers. Last time, I don't think he was directed in Stella. I think it was, it was just one of the towers healed him. Probably. You, you heal yourself quickly. Yep. <laughs> he, he's out healing the damage that they can't can deal. Okay. Call in artillery. Grenades. Melt of that thing. Okay. Then we deal with that one last and capture this point and then we move on to the great unclean one. Okay. Relentless will of the Emperor. Also something I learned from the wiki is that when you when you donate something unique like that, you won't get any other chances to find it. Which well makes sense. 
Nak. Okay. Explosives. Medical. There. Okay. One, two, three. Nope. Uh, already had everyone <laughs> collected. Okay, let's try and get this done as quickly as possible. Actually, uh, no, the, the moment we show up there, they all get teleported back, uh, to, forwards. But what we should do is immediately pull back and deal with those dreadnoughts. Yeah. And, and I shall be free to consume the whole sector. Your deaths will do nicely. Oh dear. Uh, so let's see. It would be nice if the rest of the team joined. Okay. Push forwards a bit, and once those dreadnoughts show, we pull back. Yep, there they are. Okay. Now they have some very powerful weapons. Okay, Ulkar himself is getting bored. <laughs> yeah, of course, they're, they're going to keep summoning more. Okay. Keep up the fire. Pull back, Tarkus. He's doing more damage than you can take. Okay. Keep up the fire. Go. Yeah. Okay. Quick. Okay, there. Avatars pull back. Yeah, we're going to need to push and pull with this. Ooh. Yep, get running. Now we know how he went down so fast. Yeah. Okay, Ulker probably has extra damage against vehicles or something like that. Okay. Well, you have seen his sword, how big it is. Okay. And he is a demon. A way bigger than a fool. Okay, quickly. Where? There you are. And that's already immediately two of them gone. Okay, grenades. Tool, repair yourself. You there. Pull back you. Yep. Okay, I think I can park Tarkas with our own missiles there. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Tarkus is just not having his day, huh? Okay. He's having he a will. Okay, we still have a good amount to go. Oh, where did those come from? Oh, wherever they're from, they're going back in the grave. Tarkus? Okay. Oh. Might want to pull back a bit. Blood Raven counter haven't gone down up in a while. Uh, it's gone up a bit, but not as much, I think. Okay. Yeah, not as much as before. I guess we. Actually, there's no need for that. There. 
I think. I have slowed them down. You. Okay, I, I, I don't think I've already said this before, but if you use the stimulant kit whilst the user is near a down unit, it will revive them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nope. Is he stuck? Nope. Okay. Carcass, focus fire. Okay, that was well timed with the heal, I think. Yep. Damn it. Marcus, pick him up quickly. Okay. Retreats. Okay, one more attack should do it. This depends on who gets here first, and of course it's freaking Avatus. <laughs> he, will, he, can be, he can be pretty fast in that armory if he wants to be. Yeah, and I, I think we need, we need to really push this one forward. The kill counts is now going up a bit more. Okay, repair. Okay, I think Tarkus and Avatus should be able to finish this. Avatus, get moving. Okay. Hmm. If we had more... Yeah, if he had more energy available, I'd probably just call down an artillery strike. Okay, everyone see huh? Move Okay, one push. No matter who goes down. All right, we also have this feel no pain on the target. Now, since you're being the... Well, never mind. So much for immunity. Got this uh, final plague marine, apparently. Okay, no more heals. Come on. There's still a good amount to go. Come on. Keep that fire going. Heal. I don't think that's going to... I don't For long, okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yep. Okay, five, one, of course, because everyone got knocked out. Everyone except for Avatus, I think. <laughs> and good speed on that, okay. At 777 <laughs> experience. Okay. <laughs> Redemption, I'm all level up. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, greater gene seed renewal. Donate to increase the combat discipline. Treatments in the apothecary and invigorate the Space Marine's holy implants, further enhancing his superhuman frame. Basic and relentless will of the Emperor. Improved defensive bonus will uncover. Plus 50 accuracy. Okay, that would be perfectly accurate. And 50% range damage. 75% chance to slow. Okay, that is a really good bolter. Too bad we just got it at the bloody end of the game. <laughs> Let's see. And I don't remember if this game has anything like New Game Plus. Let's see. Chapter lore has it, has it that this venerated bolt gun was once used by the Adaptus Custodes, the personal guards of the Emperor on Terror. Okay, so Tarkus would have both armor and weapons from the Custodes if we gave it to him. Now, what ending do we get? Blood Ravens! Victory is ours! You have driven the Black Legion from the sector and banished the vile demon who sought to consume us. But a more terrible battle remains ahead. Our chapter is in the hands of a madman and a heretic. Kairos, he who should be the greatest of us all, has bargained away his soul to the powers of chaos. And we are branded as renegades and traitors. My brothers, this cannot, this will not stand. Commander, you and your brothers shall be our agents of purification within the chapter. Your actions have already set a shining example of honor and valor. And when none others could, you opened the eyes of Captain Diomedes to the corruption around him. Take the retribution back to Calderas. Diomedes awaits you there. You will assume command of the Fourth Company, rightly taking the captaincy left vacant by Davian Thule. When the time is ripe to strike at Kairos and the rot in the chapter, we shall contact you. When that day comes, we must all be ready. Let none find us wanting! By chapter and emperor, let none find us wanting! Looks like Eliphaz is in for some trouble. <laughs> okay. And we got Enemy of Chaos. Let's see. You have defeated the Black Legion and avoided the strain of, you know, the stain of corruption. Thanks to your efforts, Captain Diomedes has joined the cause of Gabriel Angelos. Together, you three and those loyal to you are set to return honor to the Blood Ravens. And I think we actually got the pure ending there. So I'm guessing okay, as long as... You... <laughs> I guess uh, as long as you don't hit four corruption with your characters, that they still are counted as pure. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, pure in the eyes of the Emperor. Okay, just as I was saying. Okay. So it, it only counts it if you hit four or more with your characters that it actually counts as corruption. Like, you're still rot a bit stained, but it washes off with a bit of power washing. <laughs> okay. You too much power wash simulator, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I only saw it today because I finished the Tomb Raider and Final Fantasy VII DLCs with it, and <laughs> I have no interest in the SpongeBob DLC. <laughs> okay. Your example shall shine, forever shine in the annals of the chapter. You have earned the title Angel of Death. I don't actually know how good that is, and we got all of this done in two bloody weeks. <laughs> oh, bloody heck. Okay. Uh, what are uh, we doing on time? Uh, you know I'd say it's... Hmm, it would be a <laughs> rather short... Yeah, do we could start it with at least one or two missions. Um, mm. yeah, I, I, I would if we were close. 
I, I would have been I would have liked it more if it be for a full hour but maybe we can go a bit late perhaps uh, uh, then we... I'm, I'm okay with that I'm okay with that uh, if we go uh, about like a 15 30 minutes longer okay but first we'll have to sit through this first uh, oh right mm, yeah we'll see how long this takes but yeah the, the ending you get depends on how much corruption you have overall with, well, <clears throat> pure in the eyes of the Emperor, all the way down to, well, completely and fully corrupted. At which point, I'm pretty sure you, you know, your entire squad gets declared traitors as well and hunted down. Uh, actually, I can look it up right here. I'm... But, uh, yeah, the, uh, the cannon traitor, do you want to know who that is? I would like to know that, yes. Avatus. You mean the ours? <laughs> yep, the one who barks the loudest about the traitor is canonically actually the traitor. It makes sense for if anyone can I would fit the chaos, it will be him for not even in the in the first campaign. He was rather. Wrathful. What? Wrathful. Yeah. And arrogant. Yeah. Now, let's see. Uh, that, that's the character page. I want the main page. Uh, yeah, each of the characters, if they were, if they turned out to be the traitor, would have their own reasonings for falling to chaos, except for one. Oh. Now, let me look. It up a bit here. It kind of get it specifically on Dawn of War 2 with TV tropes. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Expansion, expansion. Where's the bit about the sequel? Okay, the sequel doesn't have its own page, it seems. So, let's see. M multiple endings is that a trope that they've got up here uh, mook morale moral dystopia mordaka uh, <clears throat> okay it's a bit limited on what it shows here uh, let's see chaos rising has several depending on how far you slid down the slippery slope if you did at all it also depends on some of the actions you take during the campaign such as killing diomedes or elephas Okay, so if we had skipped Elephus, that bit would have been different if we had all characters that could just ignore him by teleporting or jumping past him. Which would have been uh, the Force Commander with a jump pack, Thaddeus with either well his normal jump pack or a teleport pack. And I'm guessing Jonah would have been able to teleport anyone else and himself over as well. <clears throat> Possibly. Uh, let's see. Probably better if I look up. I know I saw this better on a Steam guide somewhere about the the trader. Uh, let's see. Dawn of War Two. Corruption. Uh, yeah. There we go. Guide. Chaos Rising. Morality. Corruption and Redemption. So credit to them. <clears throat> Give it a load, thank you. And uh, yeah, that <laughs> I'm thinking that was Abaddon himself come to tear LFS apart. <laughs> okay. Now let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay, e also something each of we got that uh, servo arm from our Telus. Uh, which we traded in for something. Each of the traitor uh, characters would drop their own unique thing, which would get traded in for something special. Uh, let's see. Does it say anything about... Actually, it does not seem to. Um, let me... I am glancing through this. Mm hmm. 
Okay, it does... I thought this guide said, had gave a description of the uh, reasoning for each of the characters, but apparently not. Um, hmm. I need, I'll need to do a bit more Google Foo then. Uh, let's see. Dawn of War 2 Wiki. Traitor. Uh, that reminds me of something. A lot of wikis these days you find online are from our fandom.com and apparently they uh, they have shown themselves to be pretty scummy lately so uh, uh, yeah, I'm kind I of forced to use this lab. here uh, but yeah, I am, I'm kind of forced to use this oh hello this is is this new? oh I know what this is Yeah, that's the trailer for the last stand modes. Basically, three you know, three players can play together in a horde mode. Uh, now, where was oh I with this? God. And yeah, here we have the intro again. Uh, okay, this this is being a nuisance on mobile. Um, yeah, I think I'll have to go by my memory then, what the reasons are for each of their corruption, or their, 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 their turning traitor. Um, <clears throat> but I'll probably have to let this finish first, <laughs> otherwise it'll get, well, interrupt me. Um, let's Mm. Yeah, I'll have to go by memory. I did read it up again somewhat recently. Um, yeah, I, by the time this is over, I don't think we'll have enough time to really put a decent amount of time into Retribution. Mm. So, yeah. Let's let this finish. I do like that it somewhat emulates the gameplay, since it's, well, a strike force instead of an entire <laughs> in-moving army to do this. this mm. is ours, witch. No, this planet is theirs. And yeah, we have seen this plenty of times now, but I do find it a bit of a a good little twist for the short little story that it gives. And, oh, no Tyranid this, no Tyranid ambush this time. Okay. Because when we finished the, the main game, it added in the, uh, the extended bit with the Tyranid warrior or whatever it was ambushing the commander there. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, let me see. Um, let's... Okay, with Tarkus... What was it with Tarkus? Um... 
Actually, I think I will just have to look this up just to check what everyone, you know, what everyone's issue was. But with Avatus being the, the canonical traitor, his reason for turning traitor is actually rather tragic, as much as an oh. asshole as he is. Because, yeah, him learning that the chapter master that he has been fighting for for who knows how long is a traitor, that basically... Yeah, it, it basically meant that all the people that he killed were for nothing, for, were for, well, for chaos, for the, the enemy, basically. Oh, the voice actors again. <clears throat> and yeah, that basically gave him a, a big case of a driven mad by post-traumatic stress disorder. <clears throat> and, yeah, with Cyrus, if Cyrus was the traitor, then he he would turn traitor because he got sick of incompetence in the you know, in the uh, leadership of uh, of the Blood Ravens, which well, with him having seen a few campaigns go absolutely to shit, perhaps even due to Cyrus's interference due to him well sending commanders who were not up to the task with those crusades. Uh, basically sending them out to die and weaken the Blood Ravens further. That does make some sense. And, and Thaddeus, if he were to turn out to be the traitor, it would be revealed that he made a deal with a demon to... Basically, he had it with, during the during the final battle with the High Fleet. It, basically, a, a demon started whispering into his ear that... Uh, if that's he basically he gave me a deal surrender your soul and for exchange for for gabriel angelos and the the litany of fury to make it through the warp in time to save the rest of the squads uh, the issue being here that well he he takes a demon at its words and basically yeah he just sold his soul without actually knowing if it was bullshitting him or not and while well, he is the youngest and the most naive of the blood ravens so yeah that does make sense that he would fall for that sacrificing himself for uh, the rest of his squad uh, to all okay. our friends families and friends yeah <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, let's see, we've had Cyrus, Avatus, <clears throat> and Thaddeus. Uh, actually, uh, let me just jump in, see what this does. Uh, wait. Is this going to run us through the... Come on. He's gonna do that. Uh, come on. I hope this doesn't repeat the... Uh, <clears throat> the credits. Because it said load to bri No, it... Okay, that's just for bragging rights, it seems. Okay, so there is no new game plus as well. Let me just jump in on this here. Okay. Uh, so we had Thaddeus, Cyrus... I'd completely forgotten what it is with Tarkus. Why... What would be the case when he turned traitor? As we know, Davian Thule cannot be the traitor. We know Avatus. Jonah is another bit of a... Uh, a tragic case because it would be revealed that while he was uh, while they <clears throat> while he and Gabriel Angelos were traveling through the warp to get well to get to the rescue of the sector against the high fleet uh, it would be re revealed that during that period he got possessed by a demon so yeah he uh, would be not at fault of his own at any case but he would have just been proven to be possessed the whole time now, what was it with Tarkus again? Let me look. Uh, Tifa Tropes, Dawn of War 2. Uh, character page. Uh, that's for the ret Retribution. I want Blood Ravens. Uh, Tarkus, Tarkus. There, Tactical Sergeant Tarkus. Uh, mm -hmm. What was your ending? No... 
where is it shown here? Uh, 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 here we go. Should he become the traitor, his reasons for doing so are among the most tragic and heartrending in all of video game history. That might be a bit of a stretch. He only wishes to save the chapter any further death and dishonor and strikes a deal with Chaos to do so, offering his own soul in exchange while completely aware of the consequences. Most people who fall to Chaos go insane as a result of what have they done. Okay. Oh, right now I remember. Uh, there is... Uh, let me see... Do I have it still here? No, that's Barak's piece. The Plastilin Spewer. Uh, don't think we ever found this thing. Abomination. There is a specific weapon that only Tarkus can use. Uh, I think I might have sold it here. There is a specific corruption weapon that Tarkus only can use. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember what else I read about him, basically he sold his soul for that weapon to be able to use it to smite the chapter's enemies, but by using it, it, yeah, and well, the fact that he sold his soul to get it, he, yeah, basically ended up corrupting himself and turning himself into an enemy of the chapter whilst wanting to use it to, well, protect the chapter. Uh... So, yeah, all of these are mostly, it, it's either P, complete, P, it is either PTSD uh, or good intentions driving them to do bad things, except for, well, Cyrus, who is, well, a bit in between, I guess, since he's tired of the, of the uh, leadership's bullshit, and especially when it turns out that the, the leader of all leaders of that chapter is a traitor, you could say he has a point. And yeah, yeah, since it's impossible for the force commander to be the traitor, he is just, he has nothing on it, even though you can fully corrupt him down to this. But yeah. <clears throat> okay. And yeah, less than half an hour, we'll have, to, we'll, we'll, we'll start with retribution on Thursday. Yeah, might as well, like, I've been started on time as we planned, since we planned to start earlier, and I've been not had issues with the last mission. Yeah. Is that our first <laughs> fail? We will so, so bloody easily start the retribution already. And yeah, but here's the last know. stand thing. You can choose from five uh, champions and just a horde mode. Nothing of interest. And we found. Okay, I've never actually touched the multiplayer part of this. There, I know there's the co-op multiplayer in the campaign, but I guess there's also uh, yeah, well, the this painter. army painter. <laughs> I'm guessing... Full hmm. multiplayer, okay. Is this similar to... Uh, okay, I don't know what this is then, like... Uh, hmm. I might take a look at that some other time. Maybe... Maybe if someone else would want to play that against me, we could take and give that a try after I look into it a bit more. Because, like I said, I've never touched the multiplayer. I thought there was only co-op with this. <clears throat> Over here. And, well, I can't enter the predetermined. Uh, okay. Okay, at least you can check that on some other characters with this. Okay. <clears throat> uh, but, yeah. Uh, one final thing before we close this off and go look for someone to raid. For the people who for the people who prefer the old style of Dawn of War, of the original type, there is the a total there's the uh, rework mod called uh, Dawn of War 2 Eternal, I believe, that uh, changes the game up. I, I think it's mostly done. It <clears throat> it's at the very least playable. Uh, it basically twists this game around into being a lot more like the original game. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, that Dawn of War 2 Eternal for those interested. But for now, let's go over here and we go look for someone to raid. So let me pull up the browser. Also, let me close this off. Going, This is going to kill the screen share for a bit because the 
browser ended up behind it without where I couldn't move it around. Okay, um, Twitch. I, yeah, I need <laughs> I need to quell how many uh, <clears throat> how many tabs I open here. There. Okay, and oh, hello. Sided. Okay. Share your screen. Twitch. Go live. Okay, there we go. And let's see. We have a decent amount of people online. We have Cider Delish, who is streaming Banjo Kazooie. We have Hisaya Rozier, who is playing Dave the Diver again. Sloop Tube, who is playing Backpack Hero. Is that the same as I previously? Or was that Backpack Battles? Uh, okay, it seems to be of a very similar style, at least. Uh, basically, what that Backpack Battle stuff was basically an auto-battler with the items that you buy in between being, well, actions that happen during the fight. I'm guessing this is going to be similar. <clears throat> uh, next, we have I'm a Flanker with Northgard. Smoops on a Nonsense with Guild Wars 2. Apparently, they're doing World vs. World stuff. Viking Blonde is online just chatting at the moment, but their title says that they are going to be playing Chance of Senar. Touch Scaly Tail is playing Paper Planets. Can't say I've heard of that one. I uh, cannot uh, have heard of this one. Uh, it was not the okay. one I was thinking of. It looks a bit like a sort of Asteroids-like game, but you are the asteroid and you need to stop stuff from crashing into you, I'm guessing. Uh, I think um, you mean you are planet trying to fight the asteroids? Uh, I guess so, yeah. And last but not least, we have Halloween, who is playing Stalker Anomaly. Okay. <clears throat> uh, who shall we raid then? Did, um, did we raid Cider recently, or did I... No. We haven't raided him in a while, I think. At least not for two weeks, I think. Okay, I really should keep a freaking physical uh, <laughs> note of this or something. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Cider then, or someone else? Let's go beside her. Okay. Copy the name. Then to our place. <laughs> Slash raid and paste. But before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pyro Sooth. Thank you, Dur <clears throat> Durger Burr 90. <laughs> that is, I'm going to mess that name up so many times. And uh, yeah, thank you as always, Dirk here. You're welcome as always, my friend, and thank you all for joining. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe Valheim tomorrow, but I kind of want to restructure things a bit in the weekends that we do two sideshow streams, one showcase, and in Sunday evening we do something different to so that we don't get too far, we don't run out of our side games too quickly <laughs> since we've been doing that a lot. It's been sort of games still, but. I want to take yep. it a bit slower. Maybe uh, Valheim in the evenings. Maybe do I prefer Valheim in the afternoon sense. Well, then I'm the most awake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe Valheim tomorrow. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, we'll start with Dawn of War 2 Retribution on Thursday. And we have our typical weekend stuff that I actually have prepared now. And the showcase on Sunday. <clears throat> yep, and Friday is probably the best day to have it as a rest day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon. For now, though, let's no get problem. that rate started. And, uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for Tyranids and Chaos. And Undead Seagulls. And on the seagulls and Helion's flying boots. Ow!